Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to the 41st episode of my Let's Play of Victor. Or Victoria, if you open Universal Ice 4, as the mighty, mighty Germany, I haven't even been playing Victoria 2 today. Ha ha ha. Weird. Anyways, as you can see, once again, I'll let you guys know, I moved my face cam down here to the corner, because it's over the map, and who cares about the mini map? I was covering up some much more important information over here about our diplomats and stuff like that. Now you can see that. Now you don't have to see the map anymore, because it's boring and always the same. Anyways, let's get started here. Last episode, we just wrapped up a war with the Ottomans, where we expanded our super cool vassal Hungary. Now they have all their cores back, which is awesome, because now... Now, we are going to integrate them after we take... I think they have one in Lithuania. Yeah, so we'll get that for them first before we start integrating them. It's only six base tax, I think, so it's not even like going to make the integration that much more difficult. We're also fabricating a bunch of claims on Lithuania. We, we disp are dispersed during our army around their border because they're the ones we're probably going to go to war with next. We're losing a Casas Belli on Switzerland. Let's do that, actually. We're going to declare that war... Because I would really like to actually liberate. Oh, we can't actually be hostile towards our own. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah, so right now we have zero uh, imperial power. It's fine, though. All our vassals are still voting for us. So, you know, we'll get more power when we uh, do the next thing. Sweet money for free. Yay. That's our mission right now is to accumulate money. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to spend this damn mill. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to freaking tech up. It's two years. It's only... It's only costing us 513. It's not that much. Okay, let's do that. Now it'll stop bitching at me. And we can upgrade our mortars to royal mortars. Ooh, royal. But yeah, we can't We can't actually use that Casas Billy because Switzerland is in the Empire. But that's fine. I mean, whatever. Ooh, I like these Sardinian nationalists. I'd rather see these Urbanese, Urbanese nationalists succeed, though. Is this all Umbrian? No, there's only three provinces with Umbrian culture. It's stupid. I wonder, I bet you their culture group is even weirder over here in Italy. No, that's dumb. All of the, all oh, this Lombard stuff is, oh. Man, I, I was just looking at uh, some of these poor guys like Serbia. Hungary, which is only Hungarian. I mean, come on. They could not have gotten a worse deal. The Ruthenian and Russian stuff is actually cool, kind of nice. Lithuania has and Latvian. Yeah, poor poor guys. The Finnish, Finnish and Sami are the same one. That's weird. I didn't know that. Yeah, the Russians quite large. Yeah. I remember this was actually a really cool culture group when we were playing Japan because, you know, we took over all this land and it was easy and fast to core. It's awesome. I loved it. Yeah, it's going to be more difficult to core this Lithuanian land because it's the wrong culture, but whatever. We have extra points, so why not? We're actually trying to catch up on our Diplotech because we've been using it to, uh, to integrate because we had Ukraine. We had Poland, Ukraine... Switzerland and Norway as vassals, and we were integrating all of them, and it's ate up all of our Diplo points for like 50 years. It was ridiculous. But now that they're integrated, we're good to go. And I mean, Hungary is not going to be that big, because they only got, what do they got? They got Warsaw, or Pest. What's, they got one province that I remember seeing them be like, oh god, that's so much base tax, why? Not really, actually. No, they're pretty, oh, eight. Yeah, it's the steps. They're trying to get Zemplin back, but it's three. But we, we didn't let them. Yeah, so I'm interested to see. We have actually a lot of trade power up here, but it's always it's already all moving forward, so that's fine. I don't I don't see why why we need to mess with that. And we're trying to route as much as possible, but it looks like uh, whoever has the most here is actually being able to. Yeah, Frankfurt is kind of steering that away from us. Kind of sucks. Oh well. We only have nine over here. Wow, that's a really weird pie shape for that. Yeah, Denmark has been a, is a thorn in our side in all of our trade nodes right now. Kind of sucks that they're there, actually. Somehow they have 26% of the power, even though they are, like, so small and minuscule. Rumor Fahman. Okay, well, that's what we got the two guys for. Holy shit, are we about to change Kiev? Finally, Jesus! Because we've been doing that for a really long time. Kiev has... 14 base sacks, so changing that to Catholic is going to be giving us so much more money, I think. Yeah, Kev is the bomb. Yeah, look at that. We just doubled how much money we're making there. 
Yeah, let's, uh, let's click on it. Yeah, there we go. Now it says Catholic. 350. Wow, look at how much. That's so expensive to do that. I think we're ready for another Diplotech, is what this is trying to tell me. Which is fine. We could actually use a little bit of catching up. It's going to give us some more colonial range and uh, new frigates and stuff like that. Things that we need. Ooh. Excellent. The Emperor is dead. Awesome. Thank God. And so now we have... Oh, that's a really good heir. So we got actually a good deal because our current king sucked. Now we got a good one. We got a nice increase of admin and diplo, which is what we need. Not the other thing. Not, not military. So it's actually nice to have that for once. Truce is about to expire. Did we already lose our truce? Oh, look at that. Sardinia? Why is Sardinia over here? Are they not in the... But they're not in the empire? Are they in the empire? Did we get... We didn't get points for that. They just, I guess, did it. Well, that's weird, though. Sardinia should be down here, right? That's strange. Oh, no! Sardinia's over here! I guess because it's Lombard culture, it just had Lombard, you know, Sardinian patriots. Okay, that's fine with me. Because since they're in the Empire, that's, that's fine. Is there anybody else still being oppressed? Austria's provinces and a little bit of... A lot of France is actually being oppressed. What will we, what will we do with those? Oh, we have to break the alliance first. I can't even see? Seriously? Damn you. What are we losing money on? Let's raise taxes. No, it's okay. We'll just we'll just put our military maintenance at half, because why? We don't need to have it at full. It's fine. Anyways, we can always add more provinces to the HRE if we decide to, you know, really try to knock it up and try to get all the power and try to, you know, completely secure the HRE. If we wanted to, we could release... Uh, we could, you could know, add Ukraine or Switzerland and Norway, and we could actually release all of them, and that would actually give us a buttload of power, and we'd probably be able to actually click form HRE, but I'm not trying to do that right now. I'm trying to just, you know, form it the right way, slowly and surely. I'll lose the prestige rather than the 50 points, because we'll get the prestige back when we're going to fight Lithuania. Did we finish this thing yet? Yeah, let's fabricate another claim. Yeah, I just want to fabricate all the claims, just so that we can, you know, when, when we go in there, we're just going to squish, kill everything. Papacy is still securely ours. Got some claims over here in Crimea. Looks like France is... <laughs> I can't believe France... Do they have claims over here? I can't. I don't know how they cord this. That's kind of ridiculous that they did. But whatever. I guess. Uh, I guess the AI doesn't have a cording minimum range like we do because we couldn't even core. We can't even core this. It wouldn't. It wouldn't let us earlier. I mean, we can do it now, but it wasn't letting us do it earlier. How close is it? Time for a new mill or a new uh, admin tech yet? Yeah, it's time. So we're not going to have a chance to do our next idea. That's fine. Always prioritize the tech over the ideas, if you can. Sometimes you need the ideas. Like when you're uh, exploring or something like that, then it's good to go with the ideas first. But other than colonization, you pretty much always want to do your other stuff first. So you want to do your tech first before your ideas. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, come on. I want the money already. Do we, can we finish our mission, for God's sake? Oh, we lost the cream on breast. How long do these things last? They seem to be going away pretty quickly. Oh no, they last like 25, 20, 25 years, so we, we have time to fabricate all of them before we go in. So let's do that. So yeah, it's pretty fast, actually. Do do do! So yeah, basically we're just going to fabricate claims in Lithuania all day until they're done, and then we'll go and kill them. Cool. New Cardinal. Does that mean we have a new one in the ranks, or no? At least we're still battling over these ones. Alright, well we probably will get enough papal influence stacked up to steal this one from Naples, so I'm just going to click the invest in them as well button. 
And we should be close to getting our idea. Ooh, they have rebels. Russian, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. I like, I'd rather not Russia be more powerful. How close are we to finishing this? Next month, probably? No, two more. Two, two to three more months, then we'll be done. Lost a cardinal, that's fine. That means we should get a new one, right? No, actually. We gave one to France instead of us for no reason whatsoever. It's fine with me, bastards. Awesome, we got our accumulate money thing. Royal marriage of thrill, protector. And Barbara Where's that? Oh god, I need to use a province finder. Bar oh, bet B E. B E S S. Yeah, there we go. These are our brothers. What? That's not even true. Yeah, but Crimea. Ugh. Our religious brethren. Oh, 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 okay. So they're Orthodox? Oh, no, they're Catholic. Did they get forced to switch or what? Wow, look at France. They got this little stupid thing over here. That's hilarious. France is fighting Castile again. And wow, look at that. They're, they've already sieged up the Mughals. Castile should be easy pickings, you'd think. Oh, and look at that! Uh, Aragon went and got their course for themselves, so that's nice of them. Good, so we, we, we didn't lose anything there. And uh, now that we have all this cash, let's build some of these awesome mints. Actually, we need to build this thing in Danzig, because that's going to give it... We're going to get a lot of money from Danzig, because the base tech is so nice. Uh, I guess we can just build some temples, too. Nah, I don't want to waste the power. Let's build the training fields. Um, yeah, so where, where can we do training fields? Just, oh, okay. So then we can build barracks in a lot of places. Let's build the regimental camps on the borders up here. Where we have our culture. Yeah, that'll, that'll be it for me. There we go, built, uh, spent a lot of military power, thank God. Yep, and uh, did we finish? Yeah, we finished, so let's fabricate another claim on Grundo. Looks like Hungary has got a big old army. No, just kidding, they suck. It's too small. Alright, you can do admin tech now. Good. We're still 14 years ahead, but I mean, this next idea is going to be really important because it's going to give us access to the next military idea so we can start spending those points more effectively. We could change the Constitutional Republic, but I, I don't think that's really going to be effective right now, especially with the, you know, just the way that we're running our our government and game. So let's see, does everybody not want it? Yeah, there's four princes, four, and those happen to be my vassals for some reason. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh well. Like I said, eventually, if we really, really want to start pushing those reforms through, what well, we get? Oh, look at that! Orbino, Cor Croatia, took some stuff. Holy shit, Naples! You just got wrecked. And you're fighting against Aragon now because they probably want Corsica back. Uh, I guess we'll have to fight against Aragon then to get the to get the um to release Corsica. Are we done with the Ottomans? Well, we're still breaking our truce. That's fine. Grant them privileges, or... I'll lose the admin power, because we are way ahead on that tech. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if we really want to start pumping these reforms through, all we got to do is start adding this territory to the HRE that we, that we just, you know, have hanging around. I mean, which probably would be a good idea, but, I mean, to do right now, maybe, but 
I mean, we, we can save it just in case because it feels like maybe we're a little bit stagnant now, but it might come a little more in hand. I mean, all we got to do is get two more. So uh, let's go ahead and start adding provinces, I think. Yeah, let's start doing that because, because I mean, this might actually be, we're only trying to do the next two. We're not trying to hit the last button just yet. So we might have plenty of time to do that and get a plenty of power to do it because I'm pretty sure the way that I'm planning on doing it will be able to do that do it that way so let's start integrating stuff into the HRE and every time we do that we gain one power so do 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 gotta click a million times I wish you could just do entire regions but sadly you can't because you just it doesn't like me oh shit did I just no I was trying, I clicked the wrong thing. No, we can't waste our points like that. Oh. Not that it's a waste to make the culture German, it's just strange. Okay. Okay. Also, if this land ever gets taken from us, we can, you know, under the guise of, you know, being the Holy Roman Empire or uniting it or whatever, we can actually use that to our advantage by, you know, because we'll be able to claim this back. My god, this stick forever. I might even just do this off camera in between episodes or something like that. Or let's actually have the game going while we're doing it just because. You know, we're trying to make all those claims, and this will be kind of boring on, uh, on top of boring, you know? Two borings make a not boring, I guess. Since all we're doing is fabricating claims on Lithuania. And adding provinces to the HRE. Let's go for Kursk. But yeah, this should give us enough points to make... This should give us enough points to uh, to keep the um. Damn, this should give us enough points to do the next thing, which is going to be securing our spot as the as the successor always. So we won't have to worry about the electors anymore, and we can probably just break the vassalization, or I don't know, maybe I don't really want to annex them though. I kind of want to just let them free, without having to annex them. Or, you know, release them or something. Because they're going to get pissed for some reason when we let them go. I don't know why. I mean, we could we could go to war and then lose the war, but I, I'm not trying to lose war, you know? Seems like a waste. Anyways, let's just, you know, keep chunking along here through these, through these provinces to the HRE. Alright, and um, yeah, we're just going to keep going through these while we keep on chunking through the uh, cores or claims on on Lithuania. We probably need to get about 50 points if I'm not mistaken. 50 you need minimum, and then it, it helps to have more. So since, yeah, I mean honestly what we were trying to do is the next two reforms, but if we could get through this one it will be helpful. Because why not? All right, so we have exactly fifty now, but there's still a bunch of princes against it. I wonder why. Is there like a oh we just did a reform? No. The opinion of the of the emperor is. I bet you that'll go up once we return some more provinces. All right, so that's it. We're gonna gonna go to now. We're gonna go to war with the Ottomans to get back some of those provinces over here, and that'll be that. So let's declare war on them now. France is gonna come again. We're gonna do imperial ban. We're gonna pay for our troops and raise war taxes. And we're going to kick these dumb Ottomans out of our HRE, and then hopefully hopefully this war we'll be able to kick them out of Europe. Not really. Maybe we'll be able to release Serbia at the same time, I'm not sure. You know what, never mind, i got to select these guys again. we got to do this differently. Uh, first of all, we probably give these guys leaders.
Second of all, we need to move them over here first. Because we need to block them from coming across after we break their stack. And it would be nice if we could if Crimea would come because then we could uh then we could sneak around and if if, if only Russia would give us access. That'd be so awesome, but they're buttheads and they won't. Alright, so, but let's go do that with our armies. On the attack. They should have plenty of time before they get there to get their um, military or to get their morale back. Let's have these guys attack. Their Ottoman army there. They only have twelve. Oh, Crimea did come. Did we do that protect our brethren mission? Yeah, we did. So we might as well take Barbara from them then. Ooh, glorious Germany B. Okay. Are we getting a claim somewhere? I don't know where it was, though. Alright, we're going to send more troops in to help over there. Let's get our armies over here. Stack them up so that we have enough troops to scare them away or, you know, at least hold out. So we got to cast his belly against them to take Nerva. I don't know if we should do it or not, but whatever. We're going to use this army to finish off the the uh, Ottomans up here, and then we're going to also use this army to go and take out the Crimeans. And of course we're going to take, we're going to peace out for just Crimea, we're going to peace them out for their Barbicera, or Barbicia, I don't know how to say this thing. What does it say? Bess, Bessarabia, Bessarabia, I guess would be how it's pronounced. I don't know, I'm dumb, so... Oh wow, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> okay. I was like, wait a minute, build the Suez and the Panama? How do you do that? I was like, oh, but we, okay. That makes much more sense. Yeah, we can take, we can do this next, next tech. That'll be cool. Alright, so let's, uh, let's take these guys over there and kill that army. Yeah, we're going to move in and just siege up Crimea as much as we can. Wow, the siege of Constantinople did not last that long. We're going to send them back. Just pay attention over here for their armies, because you know the Ottomans might try to come. Oh, the Ottomans are actually up here now. Where are they headed to? Lower Dawn? Apparently the Russians in them are now friends, which makes no sense. Looks like the Russians gave up on their Crimea mission. I guess they're coming over here, the, the Ottomans. That's fine, we'll go block them over there. Not a big deal. Uh, we're going to want to save up our Diplo points just for now. Because... Here, let's let them actually come in. Oh, look at that. They're going away. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Have fun. Ta-ta for now. Let's go kill them over there. And we'll move in more troops just in case they actually reinforce. No general is not a good idea, but, you know, we're getting our general shortly. Let's, um... Let's force march in there. Wow, seriously? Wow, that's so dumb. I can't believe we lost before we got in there. I mean, that's fine. It's just stupid. Whatever. I can't believe their dumb army is coming all the way around here. And why does, why does Russia give them military access, but not me? 
You horse. Please, Russia. I fucking hate you. I would give you military access, you shithead. Whatever. It's okay, we're just gonna move over here. I, I cannot believe, I guess the, the Russians and the Ottomans made nice nice because they don't have a border anymore. Which is really stupid. It's like they have, the, okay, you guys don't share a border, now let's be awesome friends. Go kill those bastards. I hate these freaking Ottomans. We clearly outnumber them, we definitely outnumber them, so let's, let's take advantage of it. And kill them. Please. Come on. Take him out. Oh, god damn it. We're not gonna catch them. I swear, if they get into this battle and then they beat us, or some stupid shit. Okay, thank god. Alright, and we squished them. Good. Alright. So let's then go, let's go siege him up. I can't believe these dumb Ottomans try to, try to fight us. There is no hope for them ever. And we'll use these 50,000 to actually siege over here. Castile wants military access? Sure, why not, Castile? You gonna help me kill them? Kill these dumb Ottomans? How about that? That'd be nice. And I know you fucking France, I know you have military access because I'm the damn Emperor. You better freaking come through here, I swear. Freaking France, hate you. They're like, nah, we're chilling in France. We got in Paris. We got some wine. We're gonna drink that, and then we're gonna go find some bitches. It's dumb France. All right, so give that back to Austria, and these two too, and then release Serbia. All right, so that's sixty-nine. We're gonna try to get that. I'm pretty sure we got a little bit more last time, but you know, they did have a little bit more land for us to siege last time. So that might have been that. But whatever. I hate, I don't know, I hate how the Ottomans have such a good force limit for their navy. That's actually really been the most annoying thing, I think. Alright, so now that these guys are here, let's go take out these dumb Ottomans. I want to fight. Yeah, okay, good. We got them before they did. Okay. Alright. So now we have all these sieges ready. Good. Now carpet siege them. To death. And today is going to be a good day then. Alright. Alright. Good, we'll still have some left over so they can go and siege everywhere else. Like the important ones over here. Alrighty then, let's go. Siege it up. Here come some Ottomans. They're going to Yiddish. Yiddishkul. Let's send these guys in. I thought that might change their mind. We're gonna turn off Force March. Now that we scared them thoroughly. Split this army in half, kill them. Good, good, good. Can we win this damn battle already? Jesus Christ. Alright, and now let's go up here to kill to squish them. Let's all go up there to squish them, all, all, all of us, so that we have a better chance of it happening for real. 
All right, come on. There's still there's still morale. Okay, they got one day, but that's fine. Come on, squishity squish them. Triol is my ally. Since when? France. Hey, excuse me, Triol. All right, I understand. Okay, I'm the emperor, so that's fine. All right. Secession war against Croatia. Naturally. So are we just fighting against Croatia or what? Sardinia. Oh my god, Sardinia was... Oh, and the person you need to Okay, well I guess that's not their fault. Lithuania, you know you're not going to come and fight this war, I swear. Alright, I bet you this, this these dummies are going to go all the way. They better go across to their damn... Back across the other side of this damn, you know, thing. But they're probably going to go down to, like, Athens or, or Sparta or whatever. So let's make sure that they don't do that. Okay, I guess they're going to force march away around me. So is France on our side in this war, too? Yeah. Okay. So, have fun. Please tell me. Oh god, they're going to Macedonia. So they could go either way. It's going to be really annoying if they... Oh, thank god. It looks like they're going back home across the damn thing. Thank god. Alright, and we'll... Uh, let's see. Did uh, Lithuania actually did come? Which is bad news for us, because we're gonna we were kinda waiting for that to not be now. Hoping that it would not be now. But that's fine. We have plenty of troops to deal with them. Alright, that's all those sieges. Let's get some troops up here. And uh we'll fight these dumb Ottomans that are already in our territory somehow. Forty two thousand. Yeah, Lithuania only has seventeen stack. The uh the Croatians have already been turned around. That's good. Yeah, so we can just finish sieging the Ottomans, pretty much. I don't think... What do the Ottomans still have? Like, what, 80,000? Alright, so 34,000 should be enough to stop any of those guys coming across the border. Especially since... Oh, damn it. I wish I could just disband them. Let's have them retreat as soon as they can. Come on, retreat, 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 retreat. Or do that. That's fine. Let's get these guys over here. Let's go kill this fucker. Get him out of our land. Are these mountains? No, just hills. Oh my god, what the fuck? Where do they even come from? Oh, probably their transports or something. Alright, that's fine. We'll just go murder their ass. Excuse me. Excuse me, Ottomans. What the hell do you think you're doing? Look at them. Those bastards attacking my siege from behind. Who does that shit? Damn, Ottomans, that's who. Let's go up here and kill this shit out of Lithuania. I'm tired of their bull... Bulloni. Oh my god, really? You're going down, Ottomans. I'm gonna make fun of you. And piss on your grave. Uh, uh, do we have enough reinforcements to fight this? We could force march these guys in. Let's force march these guys and these guys. And we'll send them all in to help, I guess. Oh, I hate you, Ottomans. I'm with a passion. Uh, Jesus lives in your own country. Do I not you? Okay, we got a revolt. Hopefully, France, will you do that, please? God, useless. Their troops are still chilling. Why are we fighting against 
It's Castile. Are you fighting against Castile, France, or is it me? No, it's just France. Okay. Makes sense. Do that. Siege of Kaffa is done. Okay. Okay. Where did Lithuania go? Did we kill them? I hope so, because we need more troops down here to deal with the Ottomans, and 37 should be enough to deal up here. These guys are all going to send down. Because they need help. Help me! Alright, so we're going to force march just to here. Stop the force march. Split in half. And we'll stop them from crossing. Epirus fell. Good. Are we still... We're still sieging... Okay, good. Their mains is taken care of it. Thank God. Because uh, I was kind of worried that we weren't going to get the target province soon enough or any time ever. But good. We're up to 40% war score even with a few lost battles. That's not so bad. France is losing some battles. You dummy, France. And then, why, why can't we piece Lithuania out? Because they're a junior partner? Wait, what? I don't know why we can't piece... I mean, Croatia just called them out. But I guess because we're a junior partner. Right? Are we a junior partner? Yeah, Triol is the war leader. Okay, so never mind. We're not really going to get anything out of this war. Sucks balls. Unless we just siege up Lithuania really fast, but you know, then the uh, then they're gonna then they're gonna piece out of it. Let's uh, let's check the box that he could give us provinces. So if he decides to just piece out Lithuania, maybe he can at least give us provinces instead of just taking like white piece. Especially since we're probably gonna siege them 100% anyways for him. But who knows? He'll probably take the damn for the first damn piece offer he gets. Especially if we're doing all this work over here, sieging up with Croatia. Fuck that. We're not going to do that. We'll take out their army, but we're not going to siege nothing. Let's get down there and uh, take out these 17,000 troops. They, they keep ferrying them across with their boats. That's how they got there. I, I, I totally didn't realize that earlier, but now thinking about it, I notice. We have a bunch of points now, so let's actually pick a few cardinals to steal. Let's steal this one from Castile first. And then we'll steal this one from Savoy second. And then we'll obviously want to hold on to the one that we just got, so let's do that. Alright. So let's uh, let's go kill them quickly in Croatia, and move back over here to Macedonia. How about that? Will the Ottomans just die already? I mean, God. For God's sake. Let's move across... Oh, we can't. I forgot. I keep forgetting. I'm like, oh, let's go offensive on them on that side. But nope, we can't. And we're going to try to kill this damn... Oh my god, you faggots. How dare you attack my precious siege army. You're going to get it. There you go. Ha, huh? idiots. You didn't kill it fast enough. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. That's right, you stupid Lithuanian skah. All will be German forever and eternity. I guess they're going to Kursk. Let's chase them there. So we can squish them. As soon as we get into our territory, we're going to start the Force March. As well as the, um... As well as we're going to start... We're going to give them a general. There you go. Oh, what the fuck? I, I must have hit the A button or something stupid like that. Uh, watch, they're gonna not live now. Damn it. Stupid. Lithuanians lived. Alright, so he's trying to tell me to do an idea. I'm pretty sure we're like 15 years ahead now. 10 years? Jesus. So yeah, we're going to do that. And uh, then we can tech up our military. Or, yeah, that's fine. We have plenty of power left over. So 
So they're probably going up to this one. Somalia. Let's go over to Athens now. Hopefully these guys will not fail and they'll get the war goal for us. So they can stop getting that score. Yeah, they got minus 14. So that's another 14 war score we're going to get very shortly. Crimea was probably ready to go. Um, let's go siege. Oh, shit. They're going to Yistin. Okay. Let's send this 53 stack up there. Let's give them a good general. And we'll put them on Force March. And then we can kill these 21,000 before they know what they're, what's happened. Oh, look at them run. You little girls. Drop a siege off here. Military access from... What is Austria doing? Oh, they're fighting the Ottomans. Good good work on you, Ottomans. Or good work on you, Austria. Grundo is over. It's fine. Let's just keep on sieging them. And I guess we'll just take this 50, ca 50 stack up there. Brest has finished as well. Although we don't really have that many troops, so I don't know how much it's going to help, but whatever. Let's get up there, siege that. Split in half, get some more reinforcements over there. We'll take some guys out of Constantinople, because we don't need that many. Osberg wants military access? Why? And can we do this damn reform yet? Okay, we got to put... Yeah, we could do that. So as soon as the... um. So as soon as that's over, we're going to get more Imperial Authority, and we're going to get religious legitimacy plus... Oh, that's nice. And we'll always have the Emperorship, so we don't have to worry about electors anymore. We can just annex them all. All right, good. We got the Battle of Whedon. <sighs> okay. So let's send these guys back home. Since it looks like we've got, we've got Lithuania all siege, we're going to send them down here to fight the Ottomans. Although it looks like the Ottomans are coming from the same spot again. Just like they did from last time. Let's see if we can't catch them this time. Yeah, let's try to catch those Ottomans. Oh, look at that, they're running. Let's see if we if we go here. How does it know where we're going? That's cheating. The computer knows. Too much. Anyways, that's going to about do it for this episode, guys. I want to thank, thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to actually take this army and send them to go kill those rebels because they've actually got two successful siege, or they're working on their second successful siege, which is bad if we let them keep on doing that. I'm also going to do war taxes again because we're about to military point cap out. We don't want to do that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. You're the best. I'll see you guys next time. Spray and pray out.